welcome everybody to Gold Asset of the Day presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club for the 16th of April. So today we're going to have a look at gold price for the week ahead. A few points to note, first of all, is a recap of last week. So essentially last week we discussed the ranges that we were looking at for a retrace back towards 1,300 and 10 US dollars per ounce ahead of the European Central Bank announcement and the minutes of the FOMC last week. So for those of you who did catch up with our latest recording, we did actually hit those levels that we anticipated last week. So we essentially had a move on gold rallied from all the way around the 1300 zone, which is what we we're looking at last Tuesday, and we continue to rally all the way up to 1,310 US dollars. Now, something to be aware of that we discussed last week as well is that dollar strength that often comes back into the market on Thursday. So on Thursday, we did see the dollar appreciate. That put pressure on gold. Gold gave back most of its gains. So I hope some of you did book your trades or certainly took some profits if you were long on gold. So we essentially banked our profits here at 1310. We've then seen a pullback on gold here. And what's been really interesting is that hedge funds and money managers over the latest week, they have again added to their net long positions, which is suggesting that we are seeing traders buy the dip on gold. At the moment, gold is trading at $1,283. So we're coming in for another test of that level of support. It's actually the third test now of $1,280. Now, of course, at the moment, we are just at the start of Tuesday's session. So we want to see, will that zone get respected? Will we see buyers come back in? around 1280 if they do the anticipation is that we could move within 100 to 200 point range this week taking the price back towards 1290 and above that up towards about the mid range of the previous week around 1300 we wouldn't expect on a rally on gold we wouldn't expect to revisit all the way back towards the previous swing high in fact you can see here we're quite clearly now in a downward trend for gold the anticipation is usually it's the last week of the month where the dollar strength really starts to come back into the market. So for the time being, gold is actually a range bound market. We've got lower highs, but we also have the same levels of support coming in here on the chart, which is all at the 1280 zone. We're retesting that level at the moment. Gold's holding that zone right now. That said, if 1280 does break, you'd be looking at next levels of support around 1,275 and 1,272 below that. Now at the start of the session right now, what we'll be looking out for is potentially, again, buyers will be looking at lower time frames to see if we do see buyers come back in around that 1280 zone. If they do, week to week, again, if we go back to last week, gold moved approximately 210 points, the low being 1,289 and the high being 1,310. We are looking at approximately this week a range of 1280 up to just below 1300. Only though, if gold does hold at 1280, if it breaks below that level, we may see a little bit more pressure to the downside, taking the price back towards that 1275 to 1270 zone. But the anticipation is that we could then see support come into gold. But again, bear in mind from a monthly cycle point of view, the dollar strength normally tends to come back in at the end of the month and at the beginning of the month as well. So we could see the dollar strength start to come back in next week. And with that, we would then anticipate the potential for the metals to sell off. Now, from a seasonal point of view, we mentioned this again last week, that normally gold over the month of April delivers approximately a 1.3% gain. Last week, actually, with that breakout ahead of the minutes of the FOMC, gold was actually up 1.3%. Since then, obviously, it's corrected. I would say for now, gold, it's a range-bound market. Take advantage of the ranges that we move in at the moment and just have a look at the lower time frame to see where support will be coming back into the market. We, of course, this week is a shorter trading week. It's four days. We've got Easter coming up on Friday. And we've, of course, as we go into the weekend as well, we might see a little bit of quieter trading towards the end of the week. But I would definitely look to take advantage of those ranges. Be aware of the US dollar cycle and also be aware that hedge funds and money managers, they keep buying the dips at the moment on gold. So with that, I wish you all a great week. Of course, have a fantastic Easter and we'll see you back here next week for the next gold asset of the day. Oh.